In this video, I will show you how to import and export quizzes in their settings within QSM. To demonstrate this, I am using a disposable NCWP website. It allows you to create instant and disposable WordPress websites for all of your testing needs. And it is completely free. For more information, visit ncwp.com. I've already set up the website within the QSM plugin and the export import add-on as well as a few quizzes. To learn more about installing the QSM plugin and its add-ons, click on the information card in the top right corner of this video. Now, let's try to export a quiz and import it to another website. To begin, hover over QSM and select Quizzes and Surveys. As you can see, I have already added two quizzes. Here, I will export Math Quiz and import it to another website. Now, click on the Import and Export button. A new page will open where you can choose which quiz you wish to export or import. Let me select the quiz and then click on Export. As you can see, the JSON file is downloaded immediately. By default, the quizzes are exported as JSON. I am using a different temporary website to import a quiz. Navigate to the website's Quizzes and Surveys page. Before importing a quiz, make sure the Export and Import add-on and the QSM plugin are both installed. Then, click the Import and Export button. Now, in the Import section, you can upload the JSON exported file that you downloaded. I will include the one that I downloaded. After uploading successfully, click Import. That is it. Our quiz has been imported. Let us take a look at it by returning to the Quizzes and Surveys page. There you have it! The Maths Quiz has been imported with all the questions and their configurations. That was how you could export and import quizzes and their configurations. Let us now look at how to import and export only questions from the selected quiz. When you go to the Import and Export page, you will notice in the Questions section that you can choose the quiz and export in JSON or CSV, as well as import only questions from a quiz in JSON or CSV. Let me show you the export section. I'm going to select Math Quiz and export it as a CSV file, then click on Export. Here we go! The CSV file has been downloaded. Let us open this file and you will see that it contains all of the questions and answers for the selected quiz. Now, if you want to change some questions and answers or even specifications of a specific question, you can do so in the CSV. To help you understand, I'll show you by changing some questions. Let's change the options, answers, points, and correct or incorrect answer. To mark the answers as correct, you have to enter 1 in the same row of correct answers under the Answer Correct Incorrect column. To mark any answer as incorrect, you can leave it blank. For each question, I will include a comment box. You can choose between a short text comment box and a long text comment box. You must specify specific numbers to enable this. 0 indicates a short answer comment box in a question. 1 indicates that the comment box in your question is disabled, and 2 indicates that a long comment box is enabled in your question. We must enter these numbers based on what we want in the question and mention them in the same row of the question where we want to comment field to appear under the comments column. Similarly, you can mark the questions as required. To mark your question as required, type 0 in the required column in the same row as the question. If you do not want to mark your answers as required, leave them blank or enter 1. Like this, you can add more questions and answers to the CSV. After you've done the editing part, save the file in CSV format. Return to your website's quizzes and surveys page where you want to import your quiz questions and create a new quiz or add them to your previously created quizzes. I will make a quiz so you can easily identify the differences. The new quiz is called Mathematics Quiz. As you can see, there are no questions in this quiz right now. 
let us import some questions from our edited CSV file. Click on the Import and Export button, select the quiz from the Import section in the Questions area, then select the CSV file that you edited and finally click the Import button. Your quiz will be updated in no time. Let's check out the quiz. All your questions are here, along with other changes. Amazing, right? Let me quickly double check all of the questions and changes on the website using the CSV file that we edited. As you can see, everything's perfectly imported. That's how you can create your new quizzes and surveys with the help of QSM plugin by using CSV files. Let us now take a look at how to only export or import quiz settings. There may be times where you want to use the same settings in your new quiz that you used in a previous quiz. I understand how time-consuming it can be to manually match each setting. However, with the new import and export feature, you no longer have to worry about having the same settings. For this, I am taking a quiz I made called Fun Quiz. Let us make some changes to the option settings. Let us also tweak the text messages, contact forms, and QSM theme settings. Let us now export the settings from this quiz so we can use them in other quizzes. Click on Import and Export. Select the settings you want to export in the Export fields in the Settings section. To help you understand it better, I am selecting all of the options Text, Contact Field, and Style Settings. Then, choose which quiz you want to export these settings from. Finally, click the Export button. As you can see, a JSON file has been downloaded. I want to import the settings from Fun Quiz into the newly created quiz, Mathematics Quiz. Before we import the settings, let me show you the current settings and preferences in the Mathematics Quiz. Also, make sure you select the same theme in the quiz where you are about to import the style of another quiz. Now, click the Import and Export button. Select the quiz where you want to import the quiz settings in the Settings section, under the Import area. Select the file to be imported, or simply drag and drop it, and then click on the Import button. Let's take a quick look to see if all the settings have been imported. Yes, every tab is customized and imported. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.